Hi FS100 class, here is a brief summary of the lecture from chapter 12 about academic and career planning. The first element in career planning is thinking about ourselves and we're going to look at three ways to do that in this chapter. The first way is looking at our interests. And there are six interests in an interest inventory you're going to take as part of your career exploration assignment. This was from a psychologist named Dr. John Holland. So they are called Holland's Interest Types. The first is realistic, R, and these people have interests in working with their hands. The second is investigative, and these people enjoy analyzing and solving problems. Third is artistic, and these people are creative. You don't have to be an artist, but that you're interested in creative expression. The S is social, and these people enjoy helping others in many different ways, but the overall theme is helping. Enterprising, the E, these folks like to influence, lead, and persuade. Leading and persuading are the two main elements for enterprising, and you see most of these folks in business. And finally, the C is conventional. People with this interest prefer structure and working with numbers or data. So I asked everyone to look at this list and pick your top three. Number one, number two, number three. When we do the career exploration assignment, you will take an interest inventory that will give you your top three. So I'd like to see how close you are in your own self-analysis with what comes out on that interest inventory. But again, realistic, working with your hands, investigative, analyzing and solving problems, artistic is being creative, social is helping others, enterprising is leading and persuading, and conventional prefers structured and working with numbers or data. The second element of exploring ourselves in relation to careers is looking at our values. Values are what we consider important. Think about how you live your life according to values. You would do the same in your career and your career should uphold the values that are important to you in life. There are some examples listed on this slide. For example, recognition means that you enjoy when your employer recognizes your work. Support means that you value having a safe, supported workplace. But again, these are life values that you hold, such as education, that you want to see reflected in your career, things that you consider important in life and career. The third area of self-analysis is your skills. What are you good at? And the skills can be specific to a certain type of career, such as knowing certain software that you need to use in a career or certain technology or skills can be transferable and used in many different careers. Something like oral communication, being able to speak clearly about a topic is used in many different careers. So your skills are what you're good at and they can be specific or transferable. Then we talked about choosing a college major. So you need to analyze yourself first with your own interests, values, and skills, and that will lead to a decision about a career and a college major. You do need to look at the external elements of a career, and we'll talk about how to do that. But if you don't look at your own self, you could move in a direction that would not be valuable for you. 
So when you're picking your career goal, again, you're looking at your interests, values, and skills so that you can do something interesting to you that's important to you and that allows you to use your skills. At most colleges, you will need to take general education courses for your degree. At Hack, we have names and labels such as global awareness, communication, math and science, but it's so that you have a broad education in many different ideas and topics. Something we will use in our class is an interest inventory that relates to career research. One of the ways to use career research or to do career research is to use the ONET, which is from the U.S. Department of Labor, and there is a link on hack.edu to this tool. This is where you can do that research about the career to make sure the career would reflect your interests, values, and skills. And finally, the last piece of research that's highly recommended for careers is to conduct informational interviews. This means interviewing someone who's already working in a field that you're considering to get insider information about that field. You might know someone in your life, a friend, a family member, a neighbor. If you don't know anyone who works in that field, Hacks Career Services can help you arrange informational interviews.